Today we'll be taking a look at the Kurt hitch mounted 4 bike rack for inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. Part number C18030. It's also available on a two bike rack, part number C18029. This hitch mounted bike rack will allow you to carry up to four bikes on the back of your vehicle. It's perfect for cars, trucks, SUVs, or vans. The dual arms are gonna provide great support for our bikes. They secure our bikes with three points of contact. We've got two straps for our top tube, and the one down here around our seat post tube is our anti-sway strap. It's gonna help prevent bike-to-bike -bike contact as well as bike-to-vehicle contact. The cradles themselves will slide and rotate to accommodate bikes of various sizes. They also feature grooves to accommodate brake cables and lines. With our last bike removed, I can show you how the arms fold down. This would be ideal for pulling in your garage or in a tight parking spot. This is also a great opportunity to show you that we can tilt the bike rack out to gain better access to our rear hatch. Simply pull the clip, pull the pin, rest it out, and as you can see, we've got plenty of room to remove any cargo, gear, groceries, anything we might have with us on our trip. Here on the back, the built-in rung allows us to add some security to our bikes. Kurt makes a cable lock, and that's part number C23666. For more stability, it includes an anti-rattle hitch pin. It also includes a stabilization strap for inch and a quarter or aftermarket hitches. It's made out of a steel construction with a rust-resistant black powder coat finish, and it has a weight capacity of 180 pounds. It's the perfect addition to your Kurt inch and a quarter or two inch hitch. Now that we go over the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. We are working with a two inch receiver tube here today. So we've got our included adapter installed on our shank. If we were just working with an inch and a quarter receiver, we would have to use the included support strap. But since we're not, let's go ahead and get started. So we'll just feed it into our receiver tube and line up our pinholes. Then we'll take our included anti-rattle bolt and clip and thread that through. Once we get that hand tightened, we can actually take our included tool and finish tightening down. Now that it's tight, we'll put on our clip. Now in preparation for loading up our bikes, we'll need to raise up the dual arms. We can do that by unclipping the pin up here and pulling it up. We'll raise it up and reinsert the pin. Now let's undo our straps. So we'll bring in our bike, we'll work our way to the back. Once our bike's in place, if we need to adjust our cradles so they fit nicely up against our frame, we can do so. We'll run our top one first. And then we can do our one here. This one's gonna be our anti-sway strap. And then we can do our other top one here. I've gone ahead and loaded up three more bikes some bikes, such as women's, children's, and bikes with alternative frame styles, may require the use of a bike adapter bar to sit evenly on the cradles. Kurt makes one, and that's part number C18016. Let's go ahead and take it out on our test course and see how it performs. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or any even pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that's gonna complete our look at the Kurt hitch mounted four bike rack for inch and a quarter or two inch hitches. Part number C18030. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.